even know in the right position or no. Remember the, you know, ball of camp and that. Yeah. Remember all that and, uh, you know, we were single up when they were down there. You know, where they had different guns and search lights, everything, you know, what they had there. Yeah. Of course, being growing up, I, uh, you know, practiced with them commando style and all the rest of it when we had all in there. Cat the queen bees, I couldn't, you know, when they had them, they weren't, I didn't think they were very successful anyway, but they did, uh, have, but they weren't, you know, it was, uh, you know, several units, they used to use it as summer camp, and they were in that territory, search for units and uh, artillery units coming down. Fortnight training, you know, like that. So it's been quite a bit, you know, going down there over the years. I suppose the Americans, when they come, they would say, you know, practice there. Uh, mainly, mainly their, their, you know, guns and that, what they had were, for, you know, they used the turret, they had turrets. And, and of course they were using, that was the practice of them shooting at the yard cats, yeah. tracking them, like air to air fire. That's where they got the defense. The RAF also sent them to go down there to practice on, uh, you know, on what, uh, how to go about, you know, when they were being attacked and that. So they got caught up with their training. They couldn't very well use it attacking another aircraft, could they? Not like that one we got on the sea to us. Like that. Dome, dome stick, it was similar to this, I should imagine, I never was in it, so, so I couldn't, you know, tell you about uh, what they had in there, I suppose, I presume that must have been for the same, same thing, uh, you know, there, as what they had there, probably not air gunnery down there, but uh, more, more ground to air fire in there, they must have had them for that, anyway. but most of these airfields, some of these airfields did have them all. That was one like this. Yeah, yeah. Similar, very similar to the strip and that one. But that was housed in a, they eventually housed it in a, you know, asbestos building. And that, of course the building taken down and that is up in oh, yeah, miners wood. You know. <laughs> Use that for storage and that during the summertime when they had the summer camps they used to put it there. And the Americans had the most road camp <laughs> where they done all, all their business and that sort of thing. From here they used the tar told target to put you know, like mosquitoes. Yeah. The blue fighters originally or, well originally they was the Hawk Henry's what they had and the old banner target they were. Mm -hmm. They, you know, what the Americans had, they had a banner target which they used to toll from the ground. They took off. They told that and then screamed that when they got up at the, yeah. the drug targets, they was all <laughs> operated once they was, uh, you know, they was released once the aircraft was here. Yeah. So that's how they were. Of course, they 
they had four four targets, or, you know, four stations where they had them. So they could release one, and after that been hit or something, they might have dropped out there, you know, target, and then uh, release it, and then they would release another one. Um, so that was all, you know, but it was a very good idea, anyway. Ryan was a vampire and that for the army low level. And I mean I have seen him come back with the whip area marks on the wall. So so they've done their job. So of course they had the vampires with the you know, the long range ones and that which they used to do with the various uh, you know, radar installations up the coast, Yorkshire coast and the Met sector and all the rest of them, they've done that. Of course, we had the Anthem, which done the uh, the radar for the Navy at Chatham. That used to go from here, so it was so all, you know, all there. A pity it never closed, but there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got have a photo of them. Somewhere I've got, I think you've got it in your book. Mm -hmm. And the photo of us all taken here. When we was all took there, you know, and then finished. Then one big photo. Picket post? No, that was to stop the traffic going over because the main road wasn't, you know, that was to restrict the traffic. You see, you couldn't use it. You couldn't use it to, the traffic couldn't use it during the day or the air fields and all the rain. You used to have things struck when they was farming the land as well, you see, down there. Whether, where, and when they could go around, you know, on the land, of course, you know, the floor. That's what, that was the main reason. So you had to, you know, let them in and out, as well as the other traffic. That's about as much as I can tell you at the moment.